Mmm, give me some of that. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cereal Snob. Today we're talking about the Hostess cereals, and while you may have seen these on the shelves recently, the history goes back a little bit further than that, so let's talk about that right now. Back in October 2018, it was leaked that these cereals would soon be coming out. We saw the boxes, we saw the flavors, and I was like, huh, you know what? These could be good. So when I finally got my hands on them, I was so incredibly excited. I love new cereals. I love when people try and do something different that hasn't been done before. Now, these are not the first donut cereals on the market, as you probably know. Kellogg's tried to do this two years ago with their pink and chocolate donuts um, that were basically just Fruit Loops in disguise, and those were not those were not good. So we're gonna forget that those even exist or ever existed, and I don't think they actually do exist anymore, so hallelujah. But Luckily, the Hostess cereals do exist, and we have the Donut cereal and the Honey Bun cereal, and these cereals have a couple things going for them that we just have to talk about. These cereals look almost exactly like the products they are based off of. The donuts look like donuts, down to the actual powdery substance covering it, and the Honey Buns look just like Honey Buns, not perfect every time, but, you know, pretty good. Man, this one smells sweet and delicious, and I don't, like buttery almost, that, that's the best way to describe it, the Honey Buns. Now these smell buttery in a totally different way. Like I almost feel like I'm smelling hot butter popcorn, but more of a baked good type thing. But they smell really good. Now when you bite into these cereals, the flavor you get with the donuts is super unique. Uh, one, the texture is phenomenal. They have that same powdery texture and residue that's left in your mouth as the actual donuts. I don't know how they did that, but this stuff looks absolutely phenomenal. Just like holy freaking cow. The honey buns have a pretty great texture too. Seriously, they have a great crunch. And the flavor is like, well, it reminds me of how every birthday cake cereal should taste ever. If it says birthday cake, it should probably taste like this. You can add more to it or change it a little bit, but this stuff is like spot on to what I would say in my mind. Like I bite it and I go, yeah, that's birthday cake, give it to me. Or like maybe a sugar cookie. But either way, it's so good and it reminds me of birthdays and celebrations that I think this is totally spot on for what everyone should be aiming for. Now, the sad thing about both these cereals is once you add the milk to them, the flavor, which usually is like 100% cereal, just goes way down, particularly the donuts. It feels mostly like you're eating just crunchy milk, sweetened crunchy milk with that powdery residue. You still have some of the flavor, but it's just not what I would hope it would be. Like, it, it's, the milk overpowers it, and it is sad. Uh, now, with the honey buns, it, it does that a lot less, but still some. Like, I think I want more of that honey bun flavor, and I just didn't get it the same way I, I would normally like it. But that doesn't make this bad, it just makes it less than I would like. They're still both really, really good. Now, at the end of both of these bowls, the milk is just, mm, all right, it tastes mostly like milk. You're gonna get some of the powder residue in the donuts, which will make it taste a little bit more like the donuts, but the honey bun in particular, I didn't really get any flavor runoff in my few bowls that I had. It might be different for you, but in my experience, there's just, uh. But good news is they both stayed really soggy till the very, very end, and that is all I want in cereal, just like the crunch. I'm here for the crunch. You probably are too, that's why we like cereal. Crunch is good. So with all that being said, I give both these cereals a three and a half out of five, which puts them at a solid seven out of 10 for those of you doing conversions. And I think they're great. If you haven't tried them yet, go out and try them because they might not be around for very long. However, they might. They're not limited edition, uh, but they are new. And new cereals don't seem to stick around long unless you buy them. And speaking of buying new cereals, I think what's so great about this is Post and Hostess try to do something new with cereal. And I'm all about supporting something new because if they don't do something new, then we're just gonna get another version of Cheerios for the rest of our lives, which I'm not hating on Cheerios. Cheerios are so good. <laughs> but it's nice to have something totally new come out of nowhere and just surprise me. And both these cereals did surprise me and I'm so happy that I have them here, ready to eat now. So go out, buy them, try them, and thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like if you want, comment if you care, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk with you guys very, very soon. Okay? Peace out, guys. Mwah. Damn. This cereal is so white. It's whiter than Trump's supporters. Come on.